Good day everyone, today I'm running the oil still again, so I made some improvements. I just changed the way uh, the unit's working, the heat exchanging. So I decided to uh, reduce the amount of uh, reflux within the reactor. Now you can hear there's some water droplet explosion because uh, yesterday before yesterday i've been distilling some good uh, transmission fluid uh, and today to test the unit i had to collect all the oils and whatever leftovers that i had and of course there's some water in there anyway currently running at 390 91 92 temperatures going up every time of the explosion uh, the temperature control set up at uh, 410 degrees celsius now is the unit and also i've got problem with my vacuum pump something gets inside and uh, doesn't want to work properly so i just use some centrifugal air pump Now this is the oil, it's automotive oil from the sump, mix of uh, diesel and uh, petrol. Oil from the diesel and petrol cars, it's been sitting for a long time, some leftovers. Now I'm running under the slight vacuum and here's a production rate. Quite a key, quite fine, not a problem. Having some, uh, not really problems, but small problems with the unit. When I've been rebuilding it, readjusting, I made some mistakes. So I had to correct them and I will correct them before the dispatch, not a problem. The unit requires some small welding repair in one spot. And here, just a little bit of oil seeping from somewhere from under the welding joint. So it sounds like I burned the tube a little bit somewhere. That's not a problem, I'll fix it. It's not a big issue, not now. Once it's cooled down and cleaned up, and I will fix it. Now, this is it for now. So, unit's working fine without any problems. Again, we've got different fractions. Here's a breather, just breathing the uh, bitumen column on the side. Yeah, it needs to be open to the atmosphere somewhere. Not a problem. Um, is a some condensate that going directly from the reactor up into the uh, liquid separator on top here, going up here into this column and down, separated and goes down. Collected separately, it's more like a kerosene fraction. This one could be more like a petroleum one, and gases could be run through the some um, super cooler to cool them down and liquefy. Also, what we've got in here is another fraction, it's also more like a kerosene fraction. going quite fine quite fast so all streams combined giving quite impressive output so this particular unit is a cross of the continuous oil distiller and my old um, reformer unit reformer wasn't continuous you had to uh, service the reactor chamber 
chamber every time you're running the next distillation. In this case, this unit works exactly like the continuous oil distiller and also it produces some extra fractions like the reformer would do. So, this is it.